all right guys on today's video we are on the nintendo wii today i'm going to show you how you install the wii sx rx emulator now this is a fork for wii sx this is gonna allow you to play the playstation 1 games uh, so first i'm going to show you where you can get the download link from so here's the official page uh, so just scroll down on the page until you find the Wii SX RX. So download the zip file. You're gonna have to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. This is also gonna tell you the compatible controllers you can use. So Nunchuck and Wii Remote, Classic Controller, GameCube Controller. You can also use the Wii U Pro Controller. That's gonna work as well. I'm also gonna be leaving you a link in the pin comment to my personal page where you're going to be able to also get the download link so find the wallpaper to the video and then here's all the information and the download page so just uh, unzip the folder uh, copy all the folders contents to the SD card um, create a folder on the root of the SD card called Wii SXRX then create another folder called BIOS and place the BIOS folder inside that folder. Then you're going to create a ISOs folder and place the game folders inside the folder in bin slash Q format. Um, I'm going to also be providing the watch channel for the emulator. So just um, install it using any WAD manager. So now I'm going to show you the files once you unzip it. So there's the apps folder. It's going to have Wii SXRX. Um, this is what I'm going to be providing you with a WAD file. And then it's going to have the Wii SXRX folder. Um, it's going to have a BIOS in the ISOs folder. I'm not going to be providing any of these. But this is where you put the PS1 BIOS. And then the ISOs folder. This is where you're going to put your games in .bin .q format. So just uh, drag and drop all three folders into the root of your SD card. So that's basically it for the setup of the SD card. Now we're going to get on the Wii. I'll show you how to install the WAD channel and uh, set up the emulator and a little bit of gameplay. All right, now we're on the Wii. Uh, first, we're going to install the uh, channel. I'm going to be using Wii Mod Lite, but you can use any WAD manager that you want. So load up Wii Mod Lite, start it up. Go down to the WAD manager, press A, press A on the VSD slot, go down to your WADs folder, press A, and there's the PlayStation Wii SXRX WAD, press A, and then press A again to install it, shouldn't take too long. Press the key to continue, press B, and then press home. Now you should have the watch channel. So there it is. Uh, Wii SXRX. Let's start it up. Uh, this one's got the BIOS. That's pretty cool. Start up the emulator. I'm going to be using a GameCube controller for this. As you can see, it's already selected as uh, controller one. So first thing you're going to do is go to settings, under general, uh, select CPU core, uh, Dynarec, select BIOS, load from SD, boot through BIOS, yes. Go to video, show frames per second, this is preference, you can uh, have it on or off, I'm just going to have it off. 
uh, limit frames per second auto uh, frame skip off screen ratio I like to have it 4 by 3 but you can force 16 by 9 uh, dethering I'm gonna have it as default now input this is your controllers um, so if you're using the GameCube controller it's pretty much already set up uh, so PSX controller type I'm just gonna put standard disable rumble no save button configs on the SD and then auto load slot default if you want to configure your controllers go in here and you can control it through here uh, now under audio disable audio select no disabled XA no disabled CDDA no uh, volume I just uh, keep it on loud now saves uh, memory card save device SD if you're using a USB device you pick USB or you can also save it to the GameCube memory cards which is slot A and slot B um, auto save memory cards yes and then save states device yes once you're happy with all your settings uh, go down to save settings and then go to OK and this will save um, all your settings for the next time you log into the emulator now go back we're going to load up a game so load cd um, i'm going to be loading from sd but you can also load from usb or dvd so sd i have two games crash bandicoot and castlevania symphony of the night um, it's just going to load up the q file so just press a press ok and then play game and this should load up the game without any issues there's also a compatibility list you can look up um, I'm gonna try to leave that in the, the pin comment as well now to exit the gameplay you press the uh, start button and the X button on the GameCube controller So this game uh, seems to be working perfectly. So there you go. That's how you set up the Wii SXRX emulator to play your PlayStation 1 games. I will leave all the links in the pinned comment. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.